Today we talk about B12. Because we're not talking about B11. Okay. So anyway, we quit B12 and uh, you quit it too, right? Yeah, but it hasn't been long enough to give conclusive anecdotal evidence. Yeah, of course. Just saying that we quit now and we're going to give updates in the next years, of course. So uh, we both do it for about the same reasons. I let the man have a nap. <laughs> no, he's tired, needs to rest. Anyway, so why do I quit B12? Well, I've been doubting the vitamin system for a year now. I've been thinking about it. And first, I heard a man o online say that uh, all acids and bases come from uh, a lab initially, and they contain fluorine and all that stuff. They, ooh, and uh, the chemistry is not right and stuff. So it's a lot of things to think about. And of course, I say, I think that vitamins are all acids, so are all acids really that bad? Well, acids uh, decay the teeth, we know that, it's not good for the bones, especially the acids are strong, so that's a, a big thing. So I've been thinking about that, but I didn't change anything really, and I just avoided lemon, of course, and vinegar for a long time already before because it tastes horrible it's way too acidic citric acid and acetic acid i've been avoiding them for a while so that nothing new and of course avoiding all the unripe citruses these kind of things and uh, a week ago i stumbled upon a video of uh, miss fit vegan she was interviewing Eli, uh, his channel name is um, the Free Melon Society, I think. I can add a link of the video in the description and I listen to that stuff. You can listen to it to have the full explanation, but basically all the isolated vitamins that have been invented, not discovered, according to the research of this guy, and it makes sense to me. I haven't been scared of any deficiency. I, don't, I have never cared about protein deficiency, omega deficiency or mineral deficiency. Uh, not even about vitamin deficiency except for B12 because the, the convincing uh, you know, from the doctors and all this vegan movement tell you that you have to take B12 as a vegan and also a, the rest of the population has to take it, etc. And what happens as vegans, we take B12 just to be safe, just to be sure to have everything you need. But isn't that just another psyop? It, it's good to question things. Uh, the problem with vitamin is that you cannot find any photography of it. You just find 3D representations of it. It's a bit of a problem. And you cannot really relate to it. It's different with uh, carbs because carbs, you know when there are carbs in some food, it tastes sweet if it's fruit or it tastes starchy if it's a potato, for example. You can recognize carbs in food. Uh, whereas for oil, um, fats, it's a specific texture. You know it's fat. It has a, this specific texture. And for protein, it doesn't really have a taste, but it has some kind of texture, a resisting texture. I don't know how to explain that. So we know it's real. And minerals, well, they have some taste. Huh? Salt has taste and other minerals have taste and color. Um, minerals, they are basically mountains, but vitamins, what is that? What if they just gave them word vitamin to remind us of vitality and make us trust in the vitamins that are la uh, manufactured in the lab? I don't know, but Basically, I don't trust the system for starters. So why did I even trust the system for B12? I don't know. I was taking B12 for my lab for 11 years. So for the first four years of my veganism, well, so I had a, already a vegan diet, very high in fruit, maybe 90% fruit. And then under the influence of one of my 
female friends. Uh, we went to the lab to check B12. It was my first blood test that I did by myself and I was deficient in B12 according to the lab. So I got scared and I started to take B12 supplements like uh, she did. And I don't like that, but I did take it for 11 years and the signs around it seemed pretty solid, but the story about fecal bacteria, it bothered me. And I have not seen many vegans online that don't take any supplements. Well, there are some of them, and I have to say, they look very healthy. For example, Miss Feed Vegan, she looks great. She speaks fast enough. She looks like she doesn't have any deficiency and no neurological deficiency. Well, people will tell you that if you don't uh, take B12, at some point you'll have a, a deficiency that would cause permanent neurological damage, which is quite scary and maybe, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but maybe it's just to make us fear having no lab vitamins. I don't know, but right now <laughs> I stopped taking it. I gave all the vitamins to my parents because they want to keep taking that stuff but I'm not eating any of that anymore I'm not, I'm not. so I took hydrocycobalamin methylcobalamin um, a, a little of cyanocobalamin in the form of pills sometimes but mostly um, in liquid form either injected or taken under the tongue or swallowed so I don't know what that stuff did to my body. Was it good? Was it bad? I'm worried that it could be bad effects. I'm not sure. Maybe the amounts are quite tiny and I can't feel anything particular. But I want to stop living in fear. And what made me change my mind like that a week ago? Well, in that video with uh, Eli Martyr and Janet uh, Donofrio, uh, the guy was talking about his research about B12 and other vitamins. It was mind-blowing. So basically, they for B12, they take um, cobalt, uh, sugar, and then they th throw a bunch of lab uh, chemicals, industry waste, basically. Um, so acetone, solvents, acids, cyanide, and then they dry the thing to add more more chemicals and wastewater and they just call the results B12, vitamin B12. And when you think about it this way, it's, it's quite disgusting. And how could a bunch of unhealthy substances be healthy for you? It doesn't make any sense. But if you trust the system, you would believe that the chemists know what they are doing. They just make magical reactions out of bad stuff and they obtain something that you need, otherwise you would decay. Well, now I just stopped taking it and I'll let you know how it goes year after year. But anyway, when I started taking the 12 as, as a vegan, after four years of veganism, I had no issue I felt nothing before and after taking B12. So I did not trust my body and I trusted the mainstream chemistry science instead. Or should I say scientism, reductionism. And uh, I'm a little angry at myself for falling for that psyop, but it was a good one. It was hard to resist that one. So. I was promoting B12 on my social media, but now I stop. I'm sorry for having promoted that stuff. I wish I could take it away, but it was 11 years. That was long. And these vitamins, now I'm convinced that they were invented and not discovered. Uh, if you want to know more, just watch the, th that video. I will add the link down below. It's in two parts. It's all in English and maybe you agree, maybe you don't. You're an adult, you can make your own decisions. So that's it for today and uh, let me show you something. Here, do you know what this stuff is? That's a mushroom. It grows in our garden at this time of the year and 
It's a common garden. So I picked it from here. It was so big. See the size of my hand? <laughs> it's almost a kilo, I think. So I'm going to have half of it and um, fry it in a, a little bit of water and Paul will fry it with oil. <laughs> he does his thing. So that will be for dinner with pasta. Well, I know that the real food is not that. You have to cook that stuff to make it edible and palatable. But the real food has colors, it smells, mm, it smells sweet. It's called fruit. Fruit is so tasty. Yeah. Okay, that's not fruit. <laughs> that's bulbs. Um, anyway, vegetables are good too, cooked or raw, depending on the texture. And I, I really like black rice at the moment. It's so good, so tasty. It doesn't require any salt. Uh, I still eat uh, some white rice and sugar and beans and that stuff. But this thing, wow, the best. It's not like, um, like brown rice. It's not the same. This one is tasty. Brown rice tastes disgusting. So carrots. Make juice. I make juice out of it or I cook them. Let me show you the rest. Potatoes, of course, cook them. I like to bake them usually. Sometimes I steam them or boil them. And sweet potatoes, mm, so good. The orange inside, and I like to steam them or bake them. So good. Okay, while well, I'm here, the spices, pasta. Uh, Paul has some oats too, and what's that? Ah, oh, that's flour. More pasta, more rice, and more spices here, curries. So, it's always 100% vegan here. I'm high carb, low fat. Uh, Paul is a bit higher fat. And two thirds of my diet now is fruit. I would love to have a diet that's 100% fruit, or let's say 95% fruit and 5% vegetables. But now we need to save some money. So only two thirds of fruit here. Or some days one third if there's no ripe fruit for lunch. Okay, so it's not a big, big deal. I just quit that B12. I stopped taking that uh, weird substance. Hey, one last thing. You know, what is the color of cobalt? You would think maybe it's red because the supplement is red. But look it up, cobalt, basic cobalt is blue. It's a beautiful blue, cobalt blue. So they degraded the cobalt to make it red somehow by adding some stuff. The blue disappeared because blue, blue plus red is supposed to become something like purple, but it's not purple, it's red. And according to the information I've had for the last few years, the blue pigment is so rare nowadays because it's destroyed by acids. You can tr try it. Get some, or make some juice out of um, a purple cabbage. So you get a purple juice. You can either get it by boiling it or by juicing it. And then with that purple juice, you add either acid from lemon or from vinegar. And then the blue is destroyed and you end up with a, a red liquid. Or you take that purple liquid and you add um, some base, like bicarbonate, and then the red is destroyed uh, like very fast because it's a liquid. There's no fiber to protect anything. So the purple juice becomes blue. And appar apparently, depending on the uh, power, the acidic power of the, the base power, the color it has a different uh, nuance. Or let's say you add acids and then bases, then you lose all the blue and all the red, and you end up with some dark green liquid that becomes yellow. So, and then you wonder why most of our foods and plants are white, yellow, or green. It could be that. Well, I don't have the detail of how they do it, but just saying. 
let's get some blue from the few fruits that we have available for ourselves, like blackberries, blueberries, black grapes, purple cabbage, purple dragon fruit, um, purple sweet potatoes, but that's rare here. <laughs> it's really rare that I find it. Anyway, I should make more videos, as I always say, and I could make some live stream sometimes, maybe. Okay, that's 15 minutes. I think that's enough. And at the moment, I'm quite busy. I'm doing Vendange, which is grape harvest. It's the second year that I do it. So I'm a bit tired in the evening. I don't want to make videos. I just want to relax in the evening. Uh, there are still maybe two or three weeks of grape harvest, and then I'll stop doing that hard job. Uh, it can be difficult for the back, but it's all right. I'm not complaining. I like to work by picking fruit. It's really fun. It's outside with a fun team. And I think I'll do it maybe every year. Yeah, that's cool. Even if it's raining, it's all right. I have special pink boots now. I could show them to you. Pink boots, where are you? Here. I've got pink boots online. And as you, oh, okay, they're dirty, but they're wide. Can you see they're wide? So the toes are happy. I bought it at, on Saguaro website. And that's it. Where's the little pet? Cuckoo. Hello, my little pet. Cuckoo plumette. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Are you a vegan cat? Yes. And that's a fake fish. 